good afternoon students today we will go through the last revision of this chapter that is time so uh, look at uh, the first question here a week has dash days okay so we know how many days are there in a week so you have to fill in a year has dash days in a leap year there are dash days a leap year comes after every dash year the number of months in a year that have 31 days number of months in a year that have 30 days a fortnight has dash days 100 years a fortnight you know it is having two weeks okay 100 years make a dash okay we know that it is making a century in a leap year february has dash days a millennium is dash years Now let us continue with some more questions. You see, if I fill in the missing entries in the table, include the finishing dates. Like for example, you see the you have uh, been provided with a starting date. It is 5 July. What will be the date after 21 days after 5 July? Okay, I have calculated this as um, 25 July. Actually, it correct or not, you have to check. Okay, because you know that you know 5 july is there 21 days after 5 july you have to calculate right so one thing you can do is you have to just simply add uh, along with 5 july you add 21 days to it so you are going to get 26 july but since you are going to uh, include the uh, finishing dates means the starting dates so that is why we are going to put it as 25 July for this question. Similarly, you can calculate 18 days after 15 May. What will be the date here? Uh, 38 days uh, before 22 January is what date? 45 days before 16 August is what date? And you see 36 days after 14 April will be what? Okay, so these things you have to fill up and now you have to solve some questions from here. You can see it is Semi's birthday on 25th of August and Neha's birthday is 7 days later. When is Neha's birthday? This year the summer holiday started on 18th May and ended on 14th May. How long were the summer holidays? So how, how we were calculating like you know uh, if the summer holidays are starting on 18th May means you have to include this 18th May also and it is ending on 14th May. So the summer holiday duration that means this 14th May also you have to include because it is ending on 14th May. So how long was the day means you have to calculate like for May month how many days are there. For June, how many days are there? For July, how many days? And then you have to add up everything and take out the answer. Look at the next question. Chetan was born on 24th of June and Chandan was born on 25th July of the same year. Who is elder and by how much? Pooja applied for admission on Monday, 5 April. She got the admission a fortnight later. So what was the date of admission? Fortnight means it is of two weeks. We know that. Next, what is the date that occurs 12 days uh, from 28th November? So, in this way, you have to complete these questions. Now, here are some more questions that is given to you. The time 15 minutes after 1.35 a.m. is what? The time 30 minutes after 10.15 p.m. is what? See, whenever you will write the answer, please give a.m. p.m. properly. Then the time 25 minutes before 2.15 p.m. is what? The date 8 days after 25th October is what? The date 15 days after 25th August is what? The date 10 days before 5th January is what? So, this kind, this I the date 15 days before 10th February. So, in this way you have to complete. What is the time 2 hours after midnight? Now, what is 2 hours equal to in terms of minutes? You have to check. Four options are given to you. Here also, this also, you have to select the correct answer. You have to um, select on 
any one of the four options go given here 2 pm 2 am 1300 hours 2400 hours so which is the correct answer among these four options you have to correct select here also the same between a b question number eight a b is a multiple choice type question then next uh, there is one more question here ankit remembers that aunt nina visited them after the 13th but before the 18th of a month okay we don't know so but it is a date between 13 to 18 some day she has visited while niharika remembers that aunt nina visited them after 16th but before the 20th of the month another is 16th to 20th now if both ankit and niharika are correct on which date did the aunt visit them see one you are getting 13th to 18th before 18th means options which are ready for you is 14 15 and uh, 16 and 17 these are four options another is 16 to 20 means you have here between 17 18 19 20 yeah, sorry 20 will not come i'm sorry only 17 18 19 now you see which number is common between these two you see 17 is common as you can see so that is why we will say that 17 if both ankit and niharika are correct on which day did their aunt visit them 17th of month of the month So I hope everyone understood this. Next question, what is a leap year? How often does it occur? Why does it occur? This is a simple question which you can answer it very easily. Okay, thank you children.